Hey there my friend, you might already know what cloud is or you might not. You don't have to worry because I am going to explain it to you like you are five. Your first steps towards cloud. Aren't they just clouds? I mean literally clouds. No, not at all. They are not clouds, okay? Well, what is cloud? This is cloud. So you see here is this server farm and it has all these servers in this server racks and lot of wires are going here as well so that you can see it is all connected with a high speed internet so that you can access all the services all the hard disk ram and cpu which is stored in here so i will now give you a brief example of a mini server you can say this this is a raspberry pi so it's nothing but bunch of computers in the server or server farm whatever you want to say so this is raspberry pi this has a ram in here it can be 1 gb 2 gb 4 gb it has a gigabit ethernet and it also has a processor so these are all the things which is required to run a computer so it's same for cloud as well so we have a server it's not raspberry pi but it is like some processor is there some ram is there but if you want to host your own server you can simply just you know buy a raspberry pi and install your node.js server or python server and you can run it and if you want to host it you will have to you know port forward and connect it to internet 24 by 7 so that you can access it from anywhere in this world so to sum it up yeah this is what cloud does so and here is the way you can make your own cloud so now let's move on uh, now we can see these are the major cloud providers in today's world so first is aws aws provides us more than 200 services and it has you know great number of rams and processors so you can host anything you want you can get tbs of ram and we have google cloud digital ocean and azure as well but aws is not the easiest to use but that's why i am here so basically we pay cloud providers for renting us their computers now we will look what cloud contains as I explained earlier, it has a CPU, which is a processor. It has a memory, which is RAM, and it has a storage. So you are going to store images, data, files, or whatever you want, just like you store in your local computer, you do the same in the cloud as well. So how fast you want things to load. So this is what the RAM will help us. How many requests we are serving. This is what the RAM will help us do okay now we have the processor like how powerful we want to have the calculation to be done on our server if we are doing any computational task we will have to get a good cpu so that's it about the what cloud contains so if we move on we will see to sum it up computers accessible to the internet forms the cloud and there is no place like localhost 3000. In the next section, we will see how to build our own server using Node.js.